It wasn't long before the second step was taken. Milk and Honey won the contest on home ground just a year later. It's an optimistic song, simple optimistic song that goes and grows and grows vocally and instrumentally and grows in the heart, I think. Hallelujah, Many people went to Rabin Square and they jumped to the water and I was uh, very happy to know that, um, that people would do such a thing on my behalf, I mean, because of the winning. That, that uh, this song uh, gave uh, many people of Israel uh, a lot of joy. <laughs> But the euphoria was short-lived, and the children of Israel were to spend another 20 years in the wilderness before they became the chosen people once again. Hard to believe the sex change superstar was once a hairy-ass bloke. I remember Down International with, with what can only be described as mixed feelings, because she left me standing like an Egypt on the stage, uh, along with Ulrika and everybody else, while she changed into another frock. You might have thought that she would have changed before the result, but she waited for the result to be announced before he, she, or it changed into another frock. So we're all standing around like lemons, but again, who cares? Her momentous victory drew inevitable comparisons with another Dana's triumph some years earlier. Ah, oh, isn't she lovely? It's a fascinating comparison between Dana and Dana International. I'm very proud that. Uh... This kind of artists represent Israel. It was like a symbol of freedom. But not everyone was as pleased. Conservative elements in Israel were infuriated by the diva's unholy past, and this led to fears for her life. In Jerusalem this year, it was her job to hand the, tro the trophy across to the winner. <laughs> and she was so busy, you know, fooling around, that she fell over. Now, as soon as she fell over, Mossad, or the Israeli security, or whoever was in charge, thought she'd been shot. So everybody swarmed around her, flung themselves upon her in case she'd be shot again. And the poor winner, the Swedish girl, never actually got the award at all. Shalom. That's Israel. 22 appearances. Winners three times. 119 points. Israeli woman who used to be a man winning the Eurovision Song Contest? What are the chances of that happening, eh? Or this, come to that. This fantastic interval entertainment was served up in 1963 by the BBC. Once again, license payers getting value for their money. Allow me one moment to blow our own trumpets. Our cricketers may be laughed at in the street. We may only have a war these days if we know we can win it. We may have a tunnel allowing rabies to run rife amongst our loved ones. But by God, can the home of the Beatles, the Wombles and Bonnie Tyler make music. So near, and yet so far, a familiar tale for us Brits. But it's not just football where we've had to swallow our pride. I didn't win. On two occasions I had performed there and didn't win. Congratulations came really close. I think if Ireland and if Yugoslavia had given me just one vote each, I would have won by one vote instead of losing by one.
Congratulations, Cliff. A bit premature. Still, when you've been celibate all that time, not surprising. Now, on with the voting. I locked myself in the toilet. And it wasn't until it was over that I heard on the door, and my manager said, said uh, I hate to say it, you lost. It came second. So uh, I put on a brave face then, but no one had to sort of see me suffer. I wanted Cliff to win so much, and I was trying not to show it. And inevitably, I did. Being Latin, I'm exuberant. I'm, yes, and I was biased. Power to the boys who played rock and roll. In 1973, Cliff managed power to all his friends except the ones on the Norwegian and Dutch juries, and lost again. Power to all our friends. And that's not the only UK entry to have promised much but failed to deliver. All in all, we Brits have been pipped at that final post a record 15 times. And what Ron Atkinson was doing on drums, no one's sure. However, a bevy of unsuccessful blonde beauties at least did something to keep that upper lip stiff. Take off your coat and come inside. Long, long live life. Olivia Newton-John, though, being famous and all that, at least got sponsorship from Brentford Nylons. Oh, just think of the static. I remember saying to all who would listen, this is the end, I said, of Olivia Newton-John. She'll never recover from this fourth in the Eurovision Song Contest. And within a couple of months, she'd gone to Hollywood and become a huge star. But though we've made our name with near misses, let's not forget the good times. There have been some famous victories too. The last was Katrina and the Waves in 1997. And the first was 67. Sandy, now what did I do with my shoes? Sure. Who is the hand microphone? Sandy, here is the song. Rosa, mini, mini, Sandy, Shaw. On pulpit, on a string. I wonder if one day that you say that you care. If you say you love me madly, I'd gladly be there. This was the start of our glory years. Though maybe glory's a bit strong. One thing I must say before I go I love you I love you You know I'll be thinking of you In most everything I do It just had a little bit of magic. The song. Oh, with the, I mean, and the dance was a, a lot of magic dance, as well. The dance, we brought in a guy called Guy Lookman. And he came down and he said, right, I'm going to show you what you're going to do. And I remember him standing there and doing it, and we all just looked at him and said, no, we can't possibly do that. But anyway, we did it. People say you're the forerunners for the... <laughs> Forerunners for uh, for the river dance because we had done the dance, you know. <laughs> Michael Flatley, eat your heart out. Hang on, baby, hang on. Save your kisses for me though turned out to be the most successful Eurovision song of all time, and more than 20 years on, the band are still together and still reaping the rewards. We work for Butlins. Um, we open bingos, we do bingo halls, which is great because they are lovely people. Um, we have a ball there. Just when you think <laughs> it's safe, we may turn up. And so to our next victory, and who could forget it? <laughs> <laughs>